and I'm a motion designer from Ukraine, that's why I have this weird accent. And now we will make this effect. We will not use any external plugins for this effect, not even green screen or rotoscoping. You will need only camera, tripod and any version of After Effects. I decided to make this effect on lowest budget possible. If you're shooting wedding videos, you might be interested in purchasing this After Effects template. It has 12 opening titles, 25 unique light leaks with different color presets and also pre-made wedding slideshow. All is in one template, link is in description. Also, for Valentine's Day, I have romance slideshow for your photos and videos. You can choose between three types of heart shapes as well as changing colors. Link is in description also. And now, back to the tutorial. Let's get started. I need to say that my tutorials are pretty fast. And I assume that you are having basic knowledge of After Effects. But I also believe that even beginners can follow along with this tutorial. Just make sure to pause this video more often to keep up with all information. If you will repeat all steps carefully, you will get same result for sure. So I have this footage right here, I want to make this punch a lot more dynamic. Let's start here, select our layer and press Ctrl Shift D on keyboard. Now let's see where our punch is over, like here, Ctrl Shift D on keyboard, right mouse click on this layer and go to time time stretch, set it to 25. Let's duplicate this layer, press Ctrl D on keyboard. At the very end of this layer, right mouse click and go to time freeze frame. And drag it over here. Let's see preview. Okay, it looks good. Now let's work on our soul. I drag my footage on this icon here to make a new composition. So as you can see, I don't use green screen. But you need to shoot your video in place where no one's moving. Also, you need to shoot from tripod. And even light should not be changed. Here I'm trying to simulate like I'm flying out from my body. About here I'm stopping. So let's press Ctrl D on keyboard. And also you need to shoot your background like this. Go to time, freeze frame. Drag this below, select this layer. Ctrl D on keyboard to duplicate and go to time, time stretch. Here let's set it to minus 25 and drag it over here. So we should have something like this. I'm flying out and flying back. We can also select both of these layers, go to time, enable time remapping. Select layer here, create new keyframe and press F9 on keyboard. Then select this layer, create keyframe and press F9 on keyboard again. Excellent. Now select one of these layers, go to Effect, Keying, Difference Math. Here we are selecting our layer below, this layer, with our clean plate. Shut this layer off. Let's make sure that our hands are still in place. It looks ok. Go to Effect, Matte, Matte Choker. Here we need to change first two values. Now it looks much better. We can also right mouse click on this layer and go to layer, inner glow. I scroll down here, set it blend mode to multiply, opacity to 100, color to black and size let's set it to 4. So by using this inner glow and matte shocker we need to clean our edges. Let's also copy these effects, Control C on keyboard, select this layer, Control V to paste, copy layer styles, Control C on keyboard and paste on this layer. Let's go back to our main comp. I call it main. This we will call soul. Let's drag our soul composition into our main composition. Let's try to match our position and move anchor point right here by using this pen behind tool. As you can see we need to make this layer size bigger. So press S on keyboard to bring up the scale. Make sure your size is matching. Now we can start animating. Press P and R on keyboard, set keyframes. Let's find the moment where I stop. And now we can animate. I'll drag it over here. Rotation set it to minus 90. Now we can drag by these handles to make this shape. And then copy these keyframes. Control C on keyboard 